This video shows how to set up a setting within the shape import export utility. I'm going to go ahead and create a new drawing using the default out of the box template for Civil 3D for the Imperial drawing. And I'm going to go ahead and run the shape import command. Within here, I'm using just the default settings. And so I can edit the current selection to give it a name. And I'm going to call this C3D Reminders. And then down here, I can create a brand new feature line setting by hitting the Edit button and opening it up and then doing a Save As. Here, I'm going to go ahead and save it within my folder structure and hit Save. I can then hit the plus button to create a brand new feature line setting. And here I can give it a name. And I'm just going to call it control points. And then I can have a shape file name that I want it to be. When I do my settings, I probably want to go against some data set. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the shape file and open up an existing shape file. In this case, I'm going to open up the 1466 shape files and choose the found point shape file settings. And so I'm going to go ahead and copy that file name and press open. So when my settings are applied, it's going to look for the shape file name. And in this case, if it's found shape point, it's going to apply whatever rows that it finds in addition to the query. So here I have the found point shape. You can also have uh, wildcards in it. So if I have multiple names, so maybe I have underscore one or underscore two, and I want this setting to apply to all of them, I can include an asterisk, and then it'll match anything that starts with found point and ends with dot shape. You can have a priority um, that you want it to be. You can have it go to a site, and so you can select a site from the list. You can create a brand new site um, if you wanted to. And then as it's importing into the drawing, if the sample site doesn't exist, it'll go ahead and create it. Here you can give it a feature line name. And so you can select one of the properties of the property sets that, or a property of the shape file to include in the name. So if you wanted to include type, you could insert that in. And then you can give it maybe a depth and insert the information and build your shape file name for that feature line as you import it in there to the drawing. Here you can select a style and you can select one from the list. So it doesn't look like I have a very good one to apply, so I'm just going to do corridor crown. And then you can select what layer you want it to go to. And you can leave these unchecked and it'll go to the default layer. If you don't want a feature line, you can always import it as a polyline or include it also a 3D polyline. And then you can have a query and you can query the data. So here I can hit the little plus sign and then I can select a property and the property list is going to be from the property sets and the attributes for the shape file that were found. And so I can go maybe to category and then control from the list. The list of values that are populated here are taken from the values found in the shape file. That way you don't have to guess on what the value is. You can go ahead and find it. You can add additional operators here, and I can look for additional information. And then when the shapefile is imported in, if the shapefile follows this format, and it's going to query the data, and if it follows this query, it's going to apply this feature line name, style, and layer name as it's imported into the drawing. You can also select what feature lines are going to be or property sets are applied to the feature line as it's being imported in. 
In this case, I don't have any property sets within this drawing, so this is going to be blank. So before you set up your settings, you'll want to make sure that you include the property sets included in here. And then you can press save to save the file. And then you can press OK to exit. And now my shape feature line settings are going to use that XML file. And you can repeat the process for the shape point settings. You could also skip the creation of the settings and include your default point settings and feature line settings here. And then it'll apply whatever these settings are if it's not found in the above settings. And so then I can go ahead and select my shape files that I want to import, press OK, and then it'll import in that data. And in this case, I can then view that information. And in here, I have two points located here. And so this is how you can set up your settings for the shape import export tool found within Civil 3D.